Uh, but obviously, Michigan TCU, what a game. I mean, just starting there, what an entertaining game for college football to have. Uh, Michigan came into this game expected to win. Favorites, according yep. to our friends at Bet Rivers, TCU, mm-hmm. uh, you know, one loss in the according Big to Michigan fans too. According to Michigan fans, according to Michigan players, coaches, I think everybody expected to walk in and come out of that stadium with a victory. I think it's hard to look at the result and say that Michigan couldn't have came away with a victory. They had plenty of opportunities to win that game. TCU made massive plays in opportunistic moments. TCU, I thought, out physical Michigan. Uh, and in general, again, like I said, a back and forth, highly entertaining game. Ultimately, the Horn Frogs are victorious. So, Felder, let's throw it your way first. Uh, starting on the TCU side, do you believe that these guys really came in with this chip on the shoulder of like, you're just overlooking us. You're saying you're going to run right through us. Now, hold up. You don't know who we are. Because I saw a little bit of that in that game. They looked like they out physical the Michigan Wolverines, and that hasn't happened this year. Yeah, I, 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 I the big thing for me, um, and I've, I've, I said this on College Sports Now, I've said it, we said it when we were talking, they had to come out, and they had to come out swinging. They had to, they, they had to aim small, miss small, but they had to pick those spots, and when they picked those spots, those spots had to hit, and they did it. And that's the thing for me, and I don't, I understand there's two pick sixes. Guess what? That's on you. You threw those pick sixes. Then the other part for me is 51 points. Hack, tell them, 51 points on the board? Even with the two pick sixes, it doesn't matter. 51 points on the board. That's not a game Michigan ever wanted to be in. Yeah, that's not not their game. That's not their brand. That's not their style. But – to your point, though, about the turnovers, I mean, there was a lot of turnovers in that game. Even, yes. you know, Max Duggan threw two picks. JJ's yep. obviously resulting in 14 points is is really tough to overcome, right? And I think you make a, a great point about, you know, we talk about each game, there's matchups within the games. George Whitfield talks about it all the time, those matchups yes. and how they go, right? And we, we, everyone, not just us, but really everybody was looking at the physicality of Michigan, and and rightfully so. Coming into the game, you have the best offensive line in college football back-to-back years. Um, Their identity was pound the rock, J.J. McCarthy kind of just play game manager, use, you know, maybe he gives us that edge outside of Cade in certain situations with his athletic ability. Why didn't they run him more? Yeah, I don't know. You know, and that's the thing is I, 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 and getting to that, like I was watching this game and my pregame analysis was Michigan doesn't have to be anything than what they have been all year, right? They have to impose their will. And I thought the jump, they run ISO on the first play and rip it off for like 55, 60 yards, right? And I'm like, oh shit, here we go, right? And then it was just like a completely different team after that play. They went in and tried to get cute. They tried to be something they weren't. And ultimately, I think that came back to bite them in the ass. As well as TCU played, I felt like that played into that as well, is Michigan with some self-inflicted wounds. Which is, well, the thing for me is, after that big play, TCU gapped out. Yeah. They gapped out. One guy, one gap, one guy, one gap, one guy, mm-hmm. one gap. And they did a great job of that because that's the also that's also the thing that sunk them against Kansas State yeah. in the Big 12 championship game. It hurt them early. And then after that, it wasn't that they lived in the backfield. They weren't moving the line of scrimmage all the way back. Mm-hmm. But what they were doing were being where they're supposed to be. Yeah, right. And, and and the the thing with that too is is w- when you're Michigan, you expect Michigan to be able to win those one-on-one matchups at yep. times with the with the guys you have up front and create some space. And it, if you can get to the second level in those situations, oftentimes that can that can hurt you. And TCU did a good job of that offensively um against yep. the Michigan team that is very yes. very sound on defense. You know what I mean? You saw a lot of second level runs, explosive runs, you know, arm tackles, shoelace tackles that could have been even bigger. Had yeah. they not had they not got a, you know, just one guy making an incredible effort. So uh, but ultimately, like my take on this is just, you know, Max Duggan didn't statistically play the greatest game on the planet. Sure. But I think heart and soul of that team led them the right way. And then everyone on that on that team did their job and they did their job exceptionally well. Coaching staff down probably to the athletic trainers <laughs> and they're going to need another one of those performances. Right. Um, yeah. Heading into, heading into heading into next week. But 
uh, really impressive. Obviously, sucks as a Big Ten guy. You know, had a lot of high, had a lot of expectations for Michigan. I think that's a unique thing too. You know, where, where's Michigan going from here after this? You know, next next year, what's the thought process? You get to it twice. You make a change at quarterback that you think is going to be a difference, and you're in the same spot against a lesser. But you don't let him change anything. Year. You don't let him. Ch- you don't. You don't let him change anything. Like when JJ got going. They were yeah. down, what, 20 points? And mm-hmm. J.J., they finally let J.J. go. And then all of a sudden, he starts to make plays and things start happening. And then, I don't know, you it's 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 like putting the, the, the cap back on the toothpaste. Like, your teeth are never going to be clean if you don't, if you don't let it flow, baby. 